derivative rule in this case we will be discussing about the power rule for shortcut form if you have a function like say y equals f of x equals x to the n type where n is a constant then the derivative will be f prime x n x to the n minus 1 so the examples are like this if you have y equals say f of x is x to the 7 then f prime x will be 7 x to the 7 minus 1 which is 6 example 2 if you have y equals f of x equals 1 over x to the 3 so this one you basically see that the exponent on x is negative 3 so then derivative will be negative 3 x to the negative 3 and subtract 1 so that means you get negative 3x to the negative 4. You may rewrite this one with the positive exponent like negative 3 over x to the 4. All right. You can have example number 3 that you are given a function f of x so that is cube root of x. So then the exponent on x is 1 third. Then the derivative of this function will be f prime x equals one third x to the one third minus one and you know one third minus one if you simplify you get one third and i need a common denominator so three three so that gives you one minus three over three meaning is negative two third so then f prime x this one gives me one third x to the negative two third and this one also can be written as 1 over 3x to the 2 third, right? Like that. Number 4. If you have a function, f of x equals to that 1 over square root of x. So this one is x to the negative half, okay? So then derivative will be same way. You take negative half and then x to the negative half minus 1. So negative half minus one, you know, same way, just like the example we give you here, will be negative one half x to the negative three half. And then if you want to write as a positive exponent, you write negative one over two x to the three half, right? So in this, we gave you a couple of examples with the power rule and showing you how you get the derivatives. This is very important for this business calculus.